And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our last deck of the day. We're going to play some fearsome mid range. I was really impressed by the buffed elusives deck that we just got done playing. This one I'm pretty excited about. This is uh, one of the uh, supposed tier one decks um, on like the, the tier list online on the main League of Legends site. I think made by Swimstrim. I think that's the name uh, or just swim. But anyway. This one looked pretty exciting, and, and it was just like something that I could basically put together. I made one small change because of a uh, wild card. Um, there's, there are supposed to be three Hakarums. I took out one Hakarum for a Ledros. I think just to kind of help with the... Either the Ledros or Rasa. I don't remember one of these two. Oh, actually, actually both of them. Neither of them were in the deck. So I put in... I also took out one Rekindler because I took out... Um, yeah, so I, I took out a re rekindler. Actually, so I made a couple of changes. Okay, so there was a Rasa or a, or a Ledros, one of those two. I added in one of them, and then the other thing is I took out a rekindler also and put in a Callista, because Callista's cool. But anyway, let's talk about the deck. So it's it's a mid-range deck. Um, so it's not just all aggro. Like it's even though we have like Elise in here, we're not just getting tons of spiders and just you know flooding the board with spiders and trying to attack a bunch. Um, we, you know, have a, f a few spider stuff in here, but we have lots of removal. You got Mystic Shot, um, Get Excited for some more removal. Of course, Vile Feast. This deck just has a whole lot of removal in it. So as you, there's 21 units and 19 spells, tons of spells. So yeah, we can play a longer game and then have our, our heavy hitters at the top end with Hikaram, Rasa, Ledros that will finish out the game as we can just kind of play a value game. So uh, that'll be interesting to see. We're also pairing pairing that with a bunch of fearsome creatures. You know, these spiders, the horror has fearsome, Elise, um, Mist Wraith. The Wraith Caller doesn't have fearsome anymore, but still just a really strong card. So let's give this a try. So let's go on over to ranked and we'll play about an hour and a half of fearsome mid range. Here we go. <laughs> yeah yeah that's true katarina katarina is kind of a little weak because you have all the mystic shots everywhere um you know like it yeah dying to mystic shot is not great for sure that's also how um Callista is like that too all right so we got two mist wraiths and a wraith caller that can bring a mist wraith let's Let's keep it. We'll get rid of the Hikarum for now. Because it's a six mana card. Try to get a whole bunch of Mist Wraiths. Or it's Hecarim. I think it's I think people said it's Hecarim, not Hikarum. I'm saying the C too hard. Hecarim. So Mist Wraith, 2-2 two, two Fearsome, but whenever it's summoned, all the other Mist Wraiths get plus 1, plus 0. So now this one is now plus 1, plus 0. So now it does say all of them everywhere get the plus 1, plus 0. So now this one gets plus 1, plus 0. Let the bloodshed begin. They just not attack? Oh, right, because they, they weren't on the attack. Blood that makes sense of why they didn't attack. They'll never yeah, know okay. Check around. Yeah. Alright, do we get another Mr. Eighth? Yeah. Yeah. Why did I attack with my mistrates last time? They 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 have fearsome. Okay, I need to be more I need to be more aggressive. Should have been attacking with those. These are all three of the six drops in my deck. I only have three. That's all of them. Yeah, I really should have attacked. This creatures got vigilance. Attack. 
If I attack with the 4-3, I'm pretty sure they just chomp with a 1-2. Kind of clears their battlefield up a little bit. Alright, so we're going to give that plus 3, plus 3 in a Ferial because it was going to just die anyway. So basically, that was like one mana kill there. Kill their creature. Okay, some of the Marauders that do the same thing as the Mistrace. Which, which ones are those? This is my first time I've really played Mistrace too much and gotten, especially gotten this no much. Play Rally. Well, they already had the attack. They're a Noxus. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, those. Yeah, those ones that. Uh, okay, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Okay. Strike recall. You basically just can't kill this because it has Katarina. You can't kill Katarina because Katarina has. Um, Has quick attack, so it strikes first, and then as soon as it strikes, you recall her back to your hand. Karam brings two spectral riders alongside. I'm trying to feed my family. Just looking out for the public. Eleven damage. I don't have any way to pump that up at all. Oh wait, is it more? Does this thing have overwhelm or something? Oh, it does have overwhelm. Well, they could have blocked one of those. They didn't. Oh well. We'll take the win. Good quick win for the first one. Jeez. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, looks like they have missed that overwhelm too. All right, well we're definitely replacing that, but then we'll we'll keep keep these again. You know, Mist Wraith and Wraith Caller work very well together. Why do I have a Callista? I don't know. It's just a, a pretty strong card. It doesn't necessarily need to be in here, I suppose. But we have we have some ephemeral stuff. But yeah, there's just the one copy of Callista. I don't have like the third Hecarim. Give me a sweet button. Heightens the senses. And so go with the Callista instead. Figure she may pair well with Elise. There's nothing to fear. So they should just challenge my Elise and kill my Elise. Oh, we got a backup, so it's okay. So they just have Zed. You're doing Teemo combo? Nice. I haven't built a team. I haven't opened up any Teemos at all, and so I haven't, you know, like, you obviously need, like, all three Teemos to play a Teemo deck. And I just haven't uh, I gotten into that yet.
<clears throat> it's possible I should should attack and trade. It's also possible I should just trade attack with a one one and then they block with the one two and then I drain and get a spider. There we go. Doesn't really seem like a a real powerful move though. Stay safe. I'll take it from here. Cool. I want to have the skitterer on my turn to give them the minus one, minus zero on my turn so that these things ha go down to two power so they can't block my fearsome stuff. That's my plan. Hmm. The problem with killing Omen Hawk here. You'll thank me later. Is my opponent just playing my buffed elusive deck? I just realized that. Like, these are all cards in the buffed elusive decks we just we just got done playing. That'd be cool. <laughs> you had somebody draw a card with ten puff caps on it? Wow, the most I've ever seen is like four. But I guess I haven't I haven't really seen it too much in constructed. They grow up so fast. <laughs> All right, thanks. Yeah, thanks. What? Thanks for stopping by. Take care. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't play this at end step to kill like the O one because I just don't didn't really have more room necessarily. All right, we'll kill that thing because I can still drain this for one the next turn. But this needs something to die to be able to play. Yeah, this bunny's just kind of taking up space. Yeah, that is true. Like, you know, now they'll have their, their mana available and everything. And they could respond. They could have an, another pump spell. Absolutely. I'm probably just going to be uh, sacking the bunny to draw two. Okay, they have a deny. Let me do this before damage. Yeah, they didn't let me do it before damage. Okay. 
guess I give them more opportunity to respond again. I'm just gonna attack out. <laughs> the edge bunny. Oh yeah. I'm sorry, bunny. It was it was a good bunny. I'm sorry, Arch Dust Bunny. It was a good it was a good bunny. Did nothing wrong, drew me some cards. A happy life. <laughs> a happy life. Ephemeral. It was 14 damage if I just put it on one of these things. 4, 8, 14. We got that 6 5 flyer out of there. And their other flyer. <clears throat> so this is looking great for us right now, but you never know. Opponent surrendered. Too fearsome. Too fearsome. Keep on leveling up. Oh, I didn't say hello to everybody from Scoot stream. That uh, sorry, I missed that that host there. Welcome everybody. Um, all right, so we have Elise Callista. This just seems like a pretty good hand. Let's just keep this. We're playing some Constructed. We got a fearsome mid-range deck here. Come closer. I don't fight. Elise Mirror. Ooh, no blocks. We could use the bite. All right, I'll block. I'll trade off spiders, and then. Uh, We'll use the black spear to kill Elise, but I'm gonna first do play this. So if they were planning on like holding up some kind of protection, maybe they you know spend their mana on something else. So this is Elise Hikarum or Hecarim. So basically the same kind of deck that we're playing. This could just be a mirror match, honestly. That's what it's looking like. Could definitely be a mirror match. So 
Yeah. Is this a mirror? Attack. These things, these mist rates have fearsome, so they can't be blocked by the 2 2. <laughs> you have a hoppy life. That was pretty good. Alright. Good. Mystic shot. I, I assume they have a vile feast. They're going to drain this thing now, but. Not much to do about that. Wow, they're just passing? I could just pass also. Make them waste their mana. We shall pierce their treasonous hearts. We shall reach her. But it makes sense to play that, because even though they have the removal for it, I get to play the Rekindler and bring it back. They need a champion to be dead. Oh, right, but then it doesn't bond. Right, it doesn't bond. I should have just gone to attacks. Down to seven. They get to attack for a lot of damage. I also have a high life total. So forcing them to block. The problem is it seems pretty likely that they have another Hecarim. It's definitely a problem. I'm getting a couple more little blockers out here and up in my life total. I'm not going to let them draw two. <clears throat> well, we could do this all day. They get their two cards. I guess we can't do this all day. Guess that wasn't accurate. Is 
thing have overwhelm? No, it has fearsome. Um. All right, so these decks that we're playing definitely have a ton of removal. So this is not like we're like we've definitely won, but I feel good about our spot. Oh, Mystic Shot's awesome. That could just do two damage to them. Two damage to anything. Kill an ally to deal damage equal to its power to anything, so no. Keep that from happening. Yeah, I'm not sure, Dons. Uh, no, no real plans right now to. This game's just so well put together and everything, and yeah, just having fun playing it. I'm gonna keep at it. All right, we're three now. Let's see, we're gonna replace just the Rasa. We're gonna keep the, the double Mistwraith and the deal two to anything. I'm not like super sold on like these get excited because you know like we have to discard a card for it. Like if we look at like our cards, like these aren't cards that I want to discard. But sometimes, like, you just need to two for one yourself for, for the removal, like, the removal in this uh, game is limited. Yeah, fearsome for bunnies. Man, look how fearsome we are. Fresh tracks. Gotcha. Oh, another Ezreal deck. Right. Just need a target. Thank you, there. Thank you, though, Don. Thank you so much for the happy birthday wishes. Down. Thanks, Don's Dodger. Thank you. I appreciate that. <clears throat> Let's play a Wraith Caller. Hopefully get another Mist Wraith. Yeah. They have seven spell mana. So they have a lot of spell mana. Mm. That's a good card because that lets them block too, but... Oh well, it's just how it is. They get to block. You know, I played a thing that got me two creatures. They play a thing that, you know, kind of cancels out the two creatures. Stay back. Lasso Frostbirth. Turbocharging as real. No, 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 no. Yes! No Elnux. So this is summon each Elnux in the top 10 cards of your deck. 
sometimes you just get a ton of Elnux with that. All right, so my plan is to play the Frenzied Skitter this turn, give their creatures minus one, minus zero, so now they can't block my all of these uh, fearsome units. And we have 22 fearsome damage, but they have nine mana and their whole deck is built around interaction. Is damage good? Damage good? I'll protect the villages. In like future sets, if they keep printing like Elnux, this troop of Elnux card has the potential to be super broken. Can I play these? Oh, no. I don't get to play these. Could have played these and had lethal. But don't have the chance to, to do anything else. Um, Just two mana? All right. Yes. All right, so this does three damage to anything, and they're at two life. So that's a good way to kill someone, so... Get excited. Looks like we're going to be winning this. What are they doing? Deal one to two enemies, draw a card. The monkey shot. Four and zero. Fearsome seems like a pretty, pretty powerful keyword. Pretty powerful keyword here. All right, I got a control deck. Ezreal, Heimerdinger. I want to replace this. I'm going to replace one of these. Fearsome's been pretty strong for a while. Yeah, I can, I can see why. Especially when you have something like this Frenzied Skitterer. It makes sense they took out the fearsome from this wraith caller. This wraith caller was like just way too good anyway. Yeah, cuz that card I mean it's still it's still incredibly good even with the nerf, but yeah, without that nerf whenever it was also fearsome, it was just busted. All right, they're just saving up mana. All right, so they're killing that. So basically, I can use this 
to give it plus three, plus three and ephemeral and basically just turn this into one mana, seven damage. I think that's worth it. One mana, seven damage. When we're playing against the control deck. We're just trying to get as trying to get as much damage across as possible. Any favorite deck yet? So far, that, that last deck that we just played, that buffed Elusives, I really liked that. Um, this deck just feels really strong too, though. But yeah, that was that was like the best deck that, we, that I've played so far in Constructed. Um, there's two Flash Freeze in that deck, and that card wasn't very good. I don't know exactly what to replace that with. But besides that, the rest of the deck felt, felt good, and, and it was fun to play. So that's very early returns. That's my favorite deck right now. Yeah, they could have Ruination. Could have just walked into Ruination. Certainly po a possibility. All right, so we're gonna summon, we're gonna get a Spiderling from this thing. Cause now that means that we have six damage here. And of course we have the Mystic Shot that can do two damage. So now we have Mystic Shot lethal. We don't have the mana to cast it right now. I can, I can just cast it right away like I did that last game, or I could do the smarter thing and wait till they tap out and whatever they tap out, do two to them. Or I can just respond to this thing that's about to heal them, three. All right, they surrendered. Five and oh. Fast games, too. Get some fast games with this deck. I am satisfied with the card balance changes introduced to this week's update. Yeah, I am. So far. If you have comments, please type in the text box below. Um... No. Thanks for working hard on your product. I I'm uh, thoroughly enjoying it. All right, so we're five and zero. Oh. <laughs> Please be gentle to bunnies. All right, we'll replace these things and just keep 
these spooky spiders. Oh no, they got their own spiders. Looks like no champs. Constructive feedback on the internet? What are we doing? Boo. This card is really good. This frenzied skitter. Real good card. You won't get past me. Not with that okay, attitude. Ready. So now I can use the Mystic Shot to kill that thing. Which I don't need to do Im immediately right now, but that's something I'll be able to do. Let's make a deal. Hmm. I guess I trade. Maybe you need a closer look. What? What kind of block is that? You break it, you buy. <laughs> there you go. That's the better block. I have my orders. Doesn't look so great for me. I'll do better this time. Their burn deck. So we're going to take. Three damage just from the attacks. Then another two from this. We're gonna take five. They just got the spider left. First one's free. Well, take another two. Yeah, I guess I guess I could have just shocked shocked the three two, blocked the one one. Yeah, I guess I don't know why I shouldn't have done that. I guess I I don't have a good answer of why why my line would have been better. I know what it, my line was basically just strictly worse, wasn't it? I guess it just in my head I just had that I was gonna be needing to shock that card. But yeah, if I would I could have just kept basically kept my I could, you know, basically have a precious pet 
over here because I could have kept a, the 2-2 two -two and turned it into a 2-1. Well, depending on what they have, this is... This is 14. Their deck usually plays a lot of burn spells and removal, stuff like that. Oh, they, they get to block the 4-1. Never mind. Attacking the spider to draw two. My axe? I'm glad we didn't though. Because I'm glad that other thing's out of here. Um No Decimate. Uh, yeah, because this, this doesn't resolve, like, whenever this, you know, whenever I click OK to resolve, it just resolves the entire stack before you do other stuff. So, like, that's how it's different from Magic. It's not like you, you don't just resolve this card, and then if you get more instants, then you can play them. Um, that gets resolved. So that's the second time we played against that deck, and somebody sent me that list earlier today, that deck that we just played against, and let's think about playing that, you know, like, tomorrow or, or soon. It's basically, it's like a, a burn deck like that with basically all commons and a couple of rares and that's about it. You know, no, no champions or anything. It's just a, a burn deck. Pretty strong, as we saw there. Pretty strong. All right, Ledros, get out of here. Get excited, get out of here. Glimpse Beyond, get out of here. Round one. Pretty similar deck to what we got going on. They're going to be more more creature heavy, more stompy, or more removal heavy. I don't fight. I know what lurks in the shadow. Skitter out from the darkness. But doesn't look like that from the hand that I currently have. <laughs> Mystic shot. The house spider. All right, so that's good. So that lets us lets us play a skitter on defense. Makes their attacks now horrible. They, they really should have just gone straight to attacks and attacked with the two fearsome creatures. <laughs> Alright, I guess it's not going to stop them. Um, one mana? Yeah, Skitterer is crazy. So good. Ah, 
two spooky spiders. Okay, okay. Let me change into something more comfortable. Fair enough. So I get to attack all out. Assumption something's gonna die, whatever dies, then I mystic shot their Elise. Where's my axe? You will suffer long. They may just may just trade Elise's, I don't know. Elise is the only thing they can block. Oh, I guess they can block that thing. They can, at least the only thing they can block the fearsome creatures. <laughs> Looks like they had the same plan I did. Yeah, the same plan. But they're down to six. These two frenzied skitters have been really nice. Let the bloodshed begin. Katarina. Let's get Callista in play. We can maybe transform Callista. If they just attack out, we can <clears throat> we can have everything die. I'll just kill their Katarina. Let's see. You can block that. You can block that. You can block that. Planet surrendered. Six and one. Dang, her deck's pretty good here. Her deck's pretty good. Yeah, we just had a, a good day today after that first expedition. Then seven, one, six, two, six, one. Racking up the wins. Racking up the wins. Let's see. Mark of the Isles gone. And keep the rest. Masia Iona. So of course now Mentor just giving the plus one plus zero buff. If they have the two drop, they will pick it back up. And like the flyer, the, there'll be a four two flyer. Now our, our Mystic Shot will still be able to kill it. Spooky spider. So 
Spiders are pretty cool. Alright, so we may need to Mystic Shot this Fleet Feather Tracker. You know, it's not anything I want to do, but otherwise the tracker is just going to use the challenger, make my horror block. Alright, well, they didn't attack immediately, so I get to do this, and so now they can't do that. They cannot hide. Wraith Caller is the better play, but I'm gonna I want to Mystic Shot this 4-2. Yeah, that is true. Yep. Yeah. Nerfing Mentor did make Mystic Shot a lot better. Yep. Who does not know the name Laurent? Kill that, sweet. So we get eight unblockable. So we got six mana, so we have enough to to Shoot something with Mystic Shot and play a Wraith Caller. Strength and grace, beauty is the play. I haven't missed with Wraith Caller this entire like matches here. Run them through. Just like I'm gonna be right back while they're figuring this out. My dogs are kind of scratching something. There they are. Um, here's Puppy. And Harvey's right here. And Harvey too right now. I don't know what they were kind of scratching up, but they were just making some noise. Yeah, we're gonna finish real soon. I know we've stream we're streaming overtime right now. Ugh. Here, you girls wanna go outside? Let's go outside. Six mana. They're at nine. I can go for lethal, yeah, with the plus three, plus three. We could do nine there. Yeah, you know, they could two for one us though if they got any kind of removal spell.
Remove all text and keywords from a follower. Wait, why can't I get a plus three, plus three in ethereal first? Ouch. I will right, we'll give that thing the plus three, plus three. We're gonna kill this to draw two. I know they can trade their two one for my horror, but that's okay. I don't want them to trade the two one for the Callista. You know, I don't know. Maybe, maybe the horror is more valuable to the Callista than the Callista. I demand satisfaction. Uh -huh. D for two. Hmm. All right. Hello. A Fiora. All right, let me go let the dogs in. Let them eat souls. Run them through. Pause and fail. I'll show you how it's done. Oh, God. There we go. Puppy. The finest place. <laughs> really like that dog. I need then. only one to win. I just need to do three more damage to them and then shoot them. I will put you down. Try me. I demand satisfaction. That's all I gotta do. the string <clears throat> and round all right i hope this three two connects oh i mean we should just play this it's just because it's another fearsome creature i guess the three two won't connect they have the the fiora they'll just they have that to block with Mm. It's another thing to block with. Suffer long. I have no time for fools. Oh, I love, I love that block. I love that block. Yeah, I mean they're probably not expecting a get excited. Oh, yeah, that's true. Judgment. Yeah, judgment would have definitely wrecked me. Like my blade. I 
Monkey for the win again. Monkey damage for the win. There we go. Seven and one. Awesome. All right, so great, great uh, ranking update today. Buffed elusive, fearsome midrange. Couple of good, strong decks. All right, we'll go ahead and uh, finish it up there for today. Um, yeah, this deck. Yeah, this deck just felt really strong. You know, like the the uh, all the fearsome creatures were really good. Um, I'm not sure about like the the three Mark of the Isle, three Glimpse Beyond. Those cards were okay. Especially uh, Mark of the Isles is pretty good. Glimpse Beyond is a three of. Seems a little much. Even both of them, like they seem like they could maybe be two ofs. But uh, Mystic Shot and uh, was an all star. Get excited. We got to finish some games off with that. I don't think I ever played Thermogenic Beam. Like, maybe I did once. I don't know. I don't think I really ever played that. But, um, so there we go. Yeah, so there's Fearsome Midrange. All right, I had a couple of good ranked decks today. All right, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button. I would really, really appreciate that. Uh, and then also, if you leave some comments, that would be very kind as well. Um, if you're playing this deck yourself, let me know how it's going for you. And if you or playing anything else that you want me to try out on stream, you know, leave a comment, leave the deck list down below. But thank you so much for watching some fearsome midrange, and I'll see you for the next video.